Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Getting into a rhythm with multiple income streams. Getting into a rhythm. Now, this is more important. Um, yeah, I talked about the windfalls in my last episode with regard to uh, multiple income streams. Now, you got to still, when we're talking multiple income streams, you got to pay regular bills with it. You still got to pay your rent, mortgage, rent slash mortgage. Honestly, just as an aside, unless you own that place outright, it's still rent. just depends on who you're paying it to. But, you know, that's just me. Anyway, right? <laughs> your rent mortgage. Uh, most people have cars. You still got to pay insurance. Shoot, on the home, especially if you own it, you got to pay an insurance. Even if you're renting, uh, most places you got to still pay utilities. Um, you still might want to have cable. Or, you know, everybody got phones now, but then you need to pay that on a monthly basis. You're going to have stuff and, you know, you might like to eat. You might like to eat. All of that stuff. That's not even getting into discretionary income and all of that. But you still have the bills you regularly need to pay. One of the things uh, that I do with my multiple streams is every single thing is allocated towards something. Let me say that again, every single thing. So with one stream, I, I pay, you know, my, um, for my home. One stream I pay for my home. Well, I don't have a car, no, but still have insurance. So um, some other, another stream or even a couple of streams, I use to pay like my necessary bills. Uh, and some of the discretionary stuff, you know, you got two sons, they, they wanna watch different stuff on online streaming services, TV streaming services and all of that. So I use that for like some of the fun stuff. And then, um, you know, I could, you know, even like what I pay for food with, and everything. And I um, also use um, there's certain streams, certain payments dedicated to savings. I'm gonna get more into that one later. But one of the things is getting into a rhythm, getting into a rhythm as far as when you have to pay the bills, when you wanna get paid from a particular stream. Like if, um, like what I do, I do, I'm connected with, of course, YouTube, but also Amazon. I have a couple of pla I'm connected with Vimeo on two different platforms, two different things. Like I have my on-demand videos on one part of Vimeo and then ROM TV on another. And they all pay at different times. And then a lot of other stuff that I do that I actually pay myself out from. Okay, like I mentioned having PayPal. Uh, I actually only pay myself from PayPal like just release it was well, payment to me it's technically my payment but it doesn't go into any of my bank accounts until the end of the month it's extremely i think it's been months months before um i dipped into my paypal for something and that, that was probably years ago uh, that was years ago when i still needed that extra money and everything i needed it as soon as possible now it, it just sits there and then some of it will go into one bank, some of it will go into another bank. But what it is is a rhythm. What it is is a rhythm. Like I know some bills I'm gonna pay when um, I get paid from like the Patreons or something around the beginning of the month. So there's some bills that that's gonna go right into some stuff. And then middle, like the next week, some other income streams come through. It's like, oh, okay, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. It's a rhythm. So it's like, okay, you know you're getting paid from this. This money is dedicated to this set of bills. This money is dedicated to another set. And then, you know, of course, the uh, house payment and everything. Everything is a certain rhythm. It's like, boom, money come in, boom. What that does, just establishing a rhythm, it lessens the chance of blowing your money on something. See, so make sure you all, I mean, this is basic. It should be basic, but let's be real. A lot of people get in trouble with this. This is why a lot of people, especially um, people or of a lower economic status, and when I say economic status, I don't like saying poor, because actually they do have money. It's just how they manage the money. But they get into trouble. 
They, a lot of people get money and they spend it on something they don't need. You take care of your business first. You allocate it. Um, I shared before uh, the documents I use. I have, uh, wait a minute, let me, let me see if I can grab one out of here. I'll just use uh, a quick example. I showed this before. I have a, uh, uh, let's see, you might be able to see it. I have a payment schedule and that everything's listed on here, bill, estimated payment, um, amount actually paid, paid date, and then, you know, just check it off and everything. So, but one of the things is I stay on top of that. I stay on top of that. That's a very important thing. And, you know, it's a certain rhythm. It's like, boom, okay, this, this date here, the money I have from this automatically goes to this. The money I have from this automatically goes to that. And, you know, and, and that's even including uh, my credit cards. Boom, I get the money here, boom, that's going right to the credit card. But it's a rhythm, it's automatic, it's, you can do it half asleep. See, one of the problems with a lot of people is they don't really have a rhythm. That's how they get caught up. All of a sudden, they're getting calls, they're getting a late fee, something like that. Like, uh, I'll say this, I do this with my credit cards. I, pay, I always pay it way before the actual due date just on a natural rhythm. And indeed, uh, you know, when I get extra money or sometimes even a windfall or something, I still I pay extra on it. I, I keep it down most, most of the time. Like, it, just in general, in general, like in general, as soon as something comes up, I pay it right away. So, but I still pay the due date and everything. And usually, times I get caught up is like extra. Like, I, you know, I had to pay for, uh, my vacation coming up in August. So that put an extra on the car, you know, getting an airline ticket, first class airline ticket and everything. So this extra, so okay, that's gonna be there, but I'm gonna still pay that down. But it's with the income streams. That's very important. And it's a rhythm. It's a rhythm, it's automatic. You're not thinking of, you, it's like you're not, con you're thinking about it, but it's not conscious. Uh, well, it's conscious, but it still do it automatically. You get that money, boom, 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 boom. You allocate it to where it's supposed to go. It is very important. Like I said, a lot of people get caught up because they'll get the money and then all of a sudden spend it on something, spend it on something real quick, spend it on some extra splurge or something. All of a sudden it's like, wow, they're struggling to get to the next paycheck. See, one of the things too, and the way everything I got set up is I haven't been paycheck to paycheck since 2017. That's been, even then, no, nah, even before that, really. I think the last time I was like paycheck to paycheck was 2015, 2015. But I was still, even though I had, you know, business, I wasn't making as much money. Just getting started, really getting started really good on uh, social media and everything. So, yeah, I was late. I'm a latecomer to a lot of stuff. So... One of the things though is that once I got out of that paycheck to paycheck thing, I still built everything so I wouldn't have to do that. And I'll tell you what, you get into a rhythm and you covered everything and you're not even thinking about too much what you're going to do. It's like automatic. It's like brushing your teeth every day, you know, just automatic. Very important, especially when you're spending your money, all right? So anyway, get into that rhythm. But got one more, uh, got one more that's covering multiple income streams and that's tomorrow. So until then, until then, let's go make that money.